Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Olivia with Crafting with Ollie. Have you ever seen those uh, wreaths of uh, bee forms with a uh, grapevine? I've seen them everywhere and I've been wanting to make one, not buy one, but make my own. And I saw on Facebook the other day, a lady made it using the heart frames, the mermaid frame, and the uh, eight inch. And I said, I can do that. And sure enough, here it is guys, I made it. Now, I'm not going to lie, it was a little hard. I had to do it again. I This is the second time I actually re, I had to redo the whole thing. It was just a little weird when I first made it. But when you watch the video, you're going to see, you might see one where the wings are like way out there. Look, It's going to look like a dragonfly, <laughs> not, a, not a bee. But anyways, I hope you give it a try too. And um, if you like what you see, I hope you hit the, the subscribe button. And of course, the bell that will notify you when I make more videos. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video today, and I hope you have a nice day. All right, I'm going to show you how I made the sign that I'm going to use on that bee. And uh, I got this at Dollar Tree. It's just a wood uh, piece of. Um, it, and what I did already is I already put a layer of mud podge on here, and it's already dried up. And I'm going to get a piece of material. I'm going to put it on top and um, I'm going to use this on top so that because with the iron it will melt that uh, Mod Podge and you don't want it on your uh, on your iron okay so all I'm gonna do is just I'm going to iron this it's kind of like it will heat up the Mod Podge it'll melt it and that that will add, uh, attach this material to it and uh, the material I got it at Hobby Lobby I got it, I bought it at I, I'm not sure exactly how much it was for a yard but all I'm doing right now is just pressing it real hard so that that glue melts that Mod Podge melts and I just did one thin layer uh, if you want to do a second layer on it, you can, but hopefully this is enough for that material to ad uh, adhere to that piece of wood. You could do uh, a napkin the same way that I'm doing this. It'll do, it, this is just so that you don't have any lumps. If you do it the wet way where you wet, you put the Mod Podge wet and then you put the paper towel on it. The, the tissue it and then you put another for me that it always wrinkles up that 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 uh what do you call it napkin excuse me <laughs> just trying to think of the word the napkin always gets all wrinkly for me I don't know I I'm not I'm not good at doing that but this in this format if it, if you are using a wood underneath this is a perfect way of doing it. You will have no wrinkles, no bubbling on your uh, napkin. So in this case, I'm using this material. Okay, it looks like it already adhered to it. And one more thing before I continue, just to, as you can check out my shirt here, is another uh, shirt that Evela sent me. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. I like the, the roses on it. But like I said, my mom's name is Rosa, so I, that's why I like that. But they only sent me the shirt. They didn't send me the pants. But it does have the same thing. The shoes and everything will match if you want to order it from Evalis. Okay, so let's continue with this. Now, uh, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to just cut off all this excess uh, trim. And I used the little small small scissors here that you, to trim all this off. Because you need to go uh, uh, really close to the edge. And it's a little hard because you got those little grooves. And uh, this is just what I had in handy, guys. You have something that's just straight. Or if you want to find this one at, at uh, Dollar Tree, you can use this one. But it's going to be a little tricky to cut through all these. But as I am uh, do this, uh, I'll be back, guys. Well, let me just do it real quick here. And I'll be back when I'm done cutting all of this. Okay, here it is already cut, guys, all the way on the edges, and I think it looks pretty neat. And as I said, it's adhered to it, 
nicely and flat, no bubbling, no wrinkling, nothing. All right, to protect the edges, I'm going to put this black cording. Uh, I believe I got it at either Walmart or uh, Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure, but it was for a dollar, this little cording. And all I'm going to do is just glue it onto the edge again to protect the edges so it doesn't start fraying. So I'm just going to start on the edge real quick here and just add some glue, hot glue, and start adding the, this cord there. And I'm just going to follow the little curves all the way around it and that should take care of the situation of the frame and then of course it gives it a nice frame around the border okay I'll be back when I'm done with uh, the whole order the whole border alrighty I'm done with the whole border and that just makes it stand out a lot more so now I'm just going to start with the with the letters and uh, I went ahead and got these letters and I got them at uh, Dollar Tree they, they look like this it was during the Thanksgiving time They they look like faux leather kind of material and it comes with this it says thankful and blessed and I used the blessed one painted it black with just regular acrylic paint and then the letters these are wooden letters and uh, you can get them Dollar General, I believe Dollar Tree sells letters also. Okay, these are the letters, on, um, just different sizes and shapes. Again, uh, some are from Dollar General, some are from from uh, from Walmart. Okay, they come in little packets. Anyway, so I painted them black, and I'm just going to set them here on this sign here for me. I will use this little bee that I I painted myself. And I put a little black patch on the back so you could the you can see the stripes on it. And I added that little flower in there. This is what they look like unpainted. And they come in a little box like this. And uh, uh, Hobby Lobby sells these. So here I am going to just start gluing these down. And I'm going to put the bee up here in this area. Because this material already had the bees. But I just like this one the way it came out. So cute. So I did not want to leave it out so let me go ahead and get started by gluing this down I'm just gonna add glue on the back real quick because this glue does dry up really fast so I'm just gonna add real, real fast glue flip it over and make sure it's centered and press it down like this uh, that's sticking up right here I'm just going to just add the glue under it so it'll stay down any other section that you feel needs to be glued down I think that was the only part that was really sticking up so everything else looks good and now I'm just gonna put the B the word B up here and again one all right now i'm just going to do the same thing with the, the letters individual letters just put some glue real quick and set it down The good thing about the hot glue, you can move it around for a little bit until it dries up so you can center it. And the E, the second E. And just to add a little flavor, I'm going to put this uh, flower back in the corner up there. And then uh, the bee that I made is going to be right here acting like it's going up to the flower. So I'm just going to add the glue on here so I can put the bee right on there. And you can still see that it's a B. The word, the letter B. And that are, it is, guys. There's my sign that I made myself using this wood plank from Dollar Tree. Okay, let me set that aside and continue with the rest of the wreath. 
Okay, you're going to be needing uh, materials for this. B is the black acrylic paint, yellow acrylic paint, this canvas drop cloth. I got this one at Lowe's. Uh, an 8 inch uh, ring, and I got that at, at Dollar Tree, and it comes in a set of two. Uh, two heart frames and uh, mermaid tail. And of course, you are going to have to take this off. And uh, I'll just have to pull these out. So, well, this one's already like coming off already, so it'll be easy for me to just pull them out. All right, guys, I got my drop cloth here, and I'm just tracing a 10 inch so I can get the, the, the size of a circle here. And I'm going to just cut the piece out. All right, guys, so, so now I just put the cloth under it and I'm just going to add some hot glue and glue it on. And uh, when I first started doing crafts and I saw someone using a drop cloth, I don't know exactly what the person used the cloth, drop cloth for, and I said, I gotta go get me a drop cloth. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I asked uh, one of the, I was all over the place looking for the drop cloth and I stopped one of the guys and said, where can I find a drop cloth? And the guy just stared at me and like, what are you talking about? And like, yeah, you know what those painters use to put on the floor for so that to protect the floor from paint dropping? And he goes, what? no, but we have canvas over here for, you know, those canvas frames. And I go, no, that's not what I'm looking for. So I realized that the drop cloth is found at hardware stores like Lowe's or <clears throat> Home Depot. <laughs> so... That was funny for me to go up to a guy in Hobby Lobby and ask him, where's the drop cloth at? So, so hope you don't make the same mistake I did looking for a drop cloth at a whole Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so, all right guys, so you see how this has a crease right here where the drop cloth was folded? I don't like having, you know, those things. So what I'm going to do is I already did half of this. I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to pull it taut so you can see how that line disappears. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add glue, of course, here to the wire and then pull it really tight before I glue it down. So you can see how it's stretched and that line disappeared. Again, it's just me, guys. I, I'm, I've always been like that. Even when I was a teacher and I had my bulletin boards, I would use material for my bulletin board. And uh, I would use material for my bulletin boards. And the same thing with that, if you don't, if you don't pull, you're going to have the wrinkles and lines and what have you. So every time you pull, you see how you still see the lines, but when you pull, that line will disappear. Okay, so it it's just you gotta pull. But first, when you start at the bottom, you don't have to pull. But once you go across, that's when you start the pulling. Okay, and that's so you can have a taut. Uh, canvas not loose and wrinkly again that is just me <laughs> so I guess uh, I got a little bit of OCD in me and that's it would just drive me crazy to see you know the wrinkles and the the bent sections you know I, I like even and smooth maybe like your beds when you make your beds I like to see it smooth also again that's me all right, so I'm almost done with this section here, and I'm going to do the other forms too, the heart and the mermaid tail, just like this. Okay, guys, so I'm now going to continue with the rest of the shapes, like I said, uh, the heart and the fish tail. And again, I'm going to make sure, you see this line, it's going to disappear because I'm going to pull it. It's supposed to be like a drum. Can you hear that? That's how taut it is and tight. <laughs> so that's how I'm going to do the same thing with this heart. Okay, I'll be back when I'm done with all the shapes. Okay, here are all my shapes already uh, with their <clears throat> wrapped. And I just want to explain real quick on the heart how I did it. I traced the heart a little, about two inches higher than what the heart was. But when I glued it to this, I made a little slit down the center. Not all the way, just like quarter inch before I get to the point. And then I glued it down just so it'll, it'll do that this uh, uh, dip right there where the heart of the heart is just to explain to you if you needed help on that 
Now I'm going to do is paint. And this is the head. And almost all uh, the these that I have been seeing have a black head. And I really wanted to change that. So actually I'm going to change it to yellow. Okay. I think the yellow looks a lot more cuter. You know, I like yellow as you all know. So that's why I decide to use yellow instead. So this is very good for painting. It it really takes the paint really good. I already had uh, did a test on it, and as it, it is a drop cloth, it does not go through because it is supposed to protect your floors, right? In case of a spillage or something. So it that's why the paint just stays up at the top, and uh, it's the color stays really good. This color I'm using is just a basic yellow color. Um, I don't know where the color says. I think it was out here on the side. There it is. I'm sorry, I can't find the name of this. I don't know, it was just a regular yellow color. And I can't find the name of it now. Oh, there it is, sorry. It's a school bus yellow. Okay, in case you all were looking for the same color, it's school bus yellow. And folk art is usually Hobby Lobby. As you can see, the price right there is $5.99. But that was ages ago when I bought this paint. I don't know if prices have gone up since then. You know, with inflation, everything's gone up. But anyways, I'm just going to paint this all the way. And then I'll be back when I'm done painting the other shapes too. Okay, here are the painted materials already. And uh, this is the body and this is the head. And these are the wings. And I used a, a little sponge to... Uh, do the circles on the wings so before I attach all of this together I'm going to just do the yellow ribbon and I'm using this uh, one and three eighths inch ribbon and I'm going to attach it as you can see on the body you already see the little waves kind of right there already and I see one right here so that's the, where I'm going to put the first one my first layer of ribbon okay so I'm going to make it make it where it sticks out then I'll just cut out the uh, whatever is extra out all right so let me go ahead and put glue hot glue on here oh, my glue sticks not working put a new one in Okay, one there and over here. And remember to leave, make it go out. So you can then just trim whatever is extra. Okay, I'm just gonna do that for now. I'm just gonna make sure that that dries. And that is centered. Okay, let me flip it over so you can follow the line back here. Or I can even bend it in instead of cutting it. I think I'm going to do that. I think that would be better. Okay. That way you know the line is perfect. Uh, uh, I'm not sure about me cutting it in a perfect straight line <laughs> will work. So I'm just going to just flip it over. Because you never know, you can cut it and it's going to go all wonky and there it goes. So I think this would be a better way to do it. And as you all know, crafting is just the hit and miss, you know. <laughs> you go as you learn. You learn as you go, I should say. And uh, that's what it's all about. And uh, it's, putting this together is going to be a little touch and go here guys we'll we'll play it by ear and the good thing about it is I'm gonna show you how to get done so you don't have the headaches because it's gonna be headaches putting all these pieces together that's for sure okay so there you see the line is straight and now again you can see the wires here you see this little wiggly lines here and that's what well, I'm gonna skip that and I'm going to go to the next area 
which is right here. And again, I'm going to leave it out. And I don't want to leave, I don't want to put too much glue because on this ribbon, it kind of like you can see through. But the good thing is I'm going to um, put a, a border all around this with, with rope. So I might hide some of that. So on this one, I'm going to make sure I don't put that the glue too much in. Again, let me just figure out where I want it. I think this is the area I want it. Make sure it's straight across. And this time, I'll make sure I'm going to put it right here, in the very, very close to the edge. So it doesn't create that ugly looking that I just I saw in the other one. It's just going to stay right there on that edge. Okay, now let's go to this side. Put the glue uh, close to the edge again. All right, now we can trim it off. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to bring it over. To the back side and this was a little bit too much Put it down a little bit and there we have it okay so we pretty much just need these two stripes because the the wings are going to cover all this area right here when I put the wings. I don't know. Maybe I should put another one just in case. I don't want to not put it and then say, oh, there's a gap there that needed a little bit of a stripe. So I'm going to put another one. And again, I'm following this little wicked line, so I'm putting the stripe right in there in that center of that one. So I know where to put the glue. I'm going to put the glue right here in this area. I'm just lifting it so I can see that it's centered. And put glue on this side. Right here. And there we go. Let's put some glue here and bring the ribbon over. So after this, now we're going to attach those wings first onto this body. And like I said, it's going to be a hit and miss until we get it. So I am attaching it together with uh, zip ties. And um, whatever color you use, it's fine because you are going to cover it up with a bow. And uh, hopefully I'm leaving the, the jute rope. I'm going to be using a rope, this jute rope, um, around the edge. So I don't know if I should do it now or after I put the whole thing together. I'm still thinking on that. So I'll be back and I'll let you know afterwards what I decide. Okay, guys, take two. I had to revamp the whole thing. It was just didn't look right the wings were too far apart it looked like a dragonfly I'm not kidding you look weird so I took everything off and here we are doing it again so what I'm gonna do is now that I realize the wings have to come in I'm going to start right here where the the curve of the wave here that's the center that's where it starts to go up that's where I'm gonna attach it and before anything make sure you flatten it down because it is domed so just 
push down and it'll flatten now that will flush to the door when you put it on the on the door so here we already have this and I'm going to just um, come up here on this and go back out on this side and as I go through I should be on the other side of the bar let me just flip it over so I can show you okay so you see how it's under the side of the bar now I can attach this here there we go just had to pull on it a little bit okay and now uh, this wing is going to come to this corner so I'm just going to bring it up here and I already have the the zip tie here coming under here so I'm going to attach it right here so I'm going to come out right about here and because I already had glue in this area when I did the the rope and I had to take off all that rope there's glue there so the good thing to do guys when you have glue in the way just melt it off okay the 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 glue gun is is hot right there the tip it just melts off that glue so that way you can uh, remove the glue real easy so now it should be able to poke through there should come up I don't know where I'm at back here okay it just needed a little bit of maneuvering and I got it through guys it's just too much glue in that area that's probably why it was taking a long time to go through but I got it okay hopefully y'all don't think this is too complicated guys and and you will try to give it a try I'm just tightening it up real quick here okay so now another point of contact I need to tie down is right here on the back I'm going to go through here and I just poked a hole through there uh, using a, a poker and because uh, I had glue on there because of the ribbon that I put so I just gotta pull it through here and go under the wire of this uh, heart and then just zip tie it and that should just that should be another form of connecting that okay so here I I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, clip off all of these and now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side okay And this is going to attach to the center and up here. Pretty much the same. Okay, so the wings are already set and, and they are closer to each other. And uh, now we're going to do the head. And the head is going to go right above here, right above the wings. And I already have the, the zip ties ready to go. But I need to flip this over so I can do, do it on the back side. Okay, so that I flip this over, this is going to go under here, and uh, the attachment is going to go on on the bar that's right here of the of the circle frame. Okay, so I'm just going to zip tie it there. Make sure I bring it in where it needs to be. All right, and now these over here are, I'm going to come up from down here. I need to remove this. Let's see, I'm feeling, there it is. Okay. And now I'll just zip tie it there. And do the same thing to the other side. I 
I'm lifting this up so I can see where my zip tie is coming out. Trying to get as close as I can to the wire in there. I should see that bright yellow tip coming through. Alright, so just went through there real quickie <laughs> and now I just zip tie it. And there you have the head should now be locked down with three three sections of it to be locked down. Let me make sure I tighten this before I sn snip it off. And I think this one was already tight, yeah. Snip it off there okay so now all I gotta do is uh, put the rope back up on again the way it was and uh, that's all I need to do is fix the rope I had taken it off and and put it back out there So now I just bring it back to here. Okay. So let me go ahead and just uh, reattach the rope, guys, and I'll be back when I am done. And hopefully it looks a lot better than what it did before. It was really funny the way it was. Okay, here we are, guys. We finished putting all the rope around the whole thing. And now all I'm going to do is just set this aside to do the boat. All right, these are the ribbons I'm using uh, for the bow. And uh, I'm going to start off by making a loop. And uh, if you notice, uh, the loop is going to be about four inches. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure I, I pinch it right here, right at the four. And I'm going to do the same one that I've done before, but this time this will not have no tail um, because I don't, I don't want to use tails on this one since the sign will be right under it. Okay, so the next loop, I'm going to pinch it again right here. And just to double check, see that it is four inches. It looked a little bit short, so I'm just grab it and just push it up a little bit to make the four inches. Okay, and then over here, I'm going to twist it. To twist it so I can get that pretty side and then just... All this got all twisty now. I'll straighten that out. And just make sure that the bottom two are equal. And I'm just going to grab a Chanel stamp and attach it right here. And then cut this off right here. And I'm done with that one. Okay, so I have two, I'm going to have two um, loops on one side and one loop on the other. Okay, now the next one I'm going to use is this one. I'll do the same thing. <clears throat> um, let me start my loop. And the loop is going to be a little bit less than four. Okay, about three and a half. Because you do want the top one to show a little bit. So I just brought it in just a little bit. This is three and a half here. And I just gathered it there. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Gather it here. And i got to twist it now. And put it right under this one. And then gather it together. Okay, let me go ahead and cut this off right here so I can put it on top of the this this one. And remember, uh, as I did on the other bows, uh, it's going to be the opposite. This one has the two loops, so now the two loops are going to be on the other side. So just hold it here, open up your chenille stem, and place it in there. And then close it up. And then do the next layer. Okay, so they should be like in a 
in a stack like that. Okay, the next layer I'm using is this black ribbon. Uh, and uh, the loop, let me see, I'm just going to measure it off of here. Just to make sure that I am giving space to see, you can see the one under. That's why you just come in just a little bit, you come back in a little. That's about almost a two and a half. Okay, so now I do the next loop. Let me flip this over so I can see it this way. And do all this twisty you gotta twist this thing over here too all right so here we are right there and this one you don't have to twist and turn because it's the same on both sides so that's the easy part about that one so then you just make sure it measures the same as the one in the bottom and you cut and for this bowl uh, you can use all the same ribbon so you don't have to be uh, doing different. Okay, I think the two loops are on that side, so the two loops will be the side. So you just you can have them all in one color, you know, just one one row of ribbon. I just opened it up and just placed it back in there again. Okay, so to make it easier on yourself, you could do it that way. Just but I like, you know, uh, different colors and everything. So that's why I'm using four different types of ribbon. And now this one's the next one. This one's going to be the last one on top. So let me just measure that it doesn't cover up too much of that yellow one. So it's got to be a little bit smaller. So that's going to be a little tiny, teeny one in here. And that's about two and a half. Two and a half. And then it's going to be a little teeny one here. Sort of eyeball it that this one's the same as that one. I think it'll pull out just a little bit. Pull back on it. Okay, now this one has white on the back, so that means I do have to twist this one. Hold on. Twist twist it and make that little loop okay so here we have again two loops and one loop on the other side let me cut this off and the two loops are on this side so now I make sure I put the two loops on that side just the opposite whenever you have two loops the two loops go on the opposite side so now I'm just gonna undo this and place it there on top of that one and then just do the zip tie and just twist it really good this is the last last one and now on this I just I just slip this to the back because that's gonna be the the underside so I just flip it over to the to the bottom like that okay and now we're just gonna start fluffing the ribbon and the, and the other one I always had the tails here but this is not gonna have any tails so all I gotta do now is just start pulling out the ribbon all right hold on see this is where you you get the you have these two you pull them open this way and then you have this one in the bottom. Okay, it's every other. So it's and on the and then I flipped it over to this side, and this should be the opposite. So it should be these two will be spread open this way. And then this one's in the bottom in the middle. Okay. It just takes a little bit of pulling and tugging to get it to to go where you want it to, you want it to be so the next layer the same thing you see these two are 
going to be here and this one's going to be in the center and these two are going to be out and this one in the center oh my goodness I didn't know my I should have I didn't tighten this enough down here sorry guys I was feeling like it was it was pulling out all right so there okay guys this is where I'm going to put the bow like I said right below the head and all I did was just slip the the, the chenille stems right through the back and all I'm going to do now is just uh, twist it back here and just chop this off and bring it down all right, so there we have our bowl. Excuse me. It's a little bit big, and I, I knew it was going to smush the bowl down. But the good thing about this is just kind of come back over here and just fluff up the ribbons again. All right, and there you have it. And all I need now to do is the sign that I did earlier. And with that, I was just going to simply just glue it down. Okay, and then just kind of like figure out where exactly I'm going to put it since uh, I have the bowl there. And you don't want it to cover up the sign, so I think that's about as good as it's going to be right there. Okay, I can just move the bow a little bit out of the way so you can see the wording. And hot glue is going to be what I'm going to use here, guys, to glue it, glue it down. Okay, so I see that it touched all of the rope up here. On both sides so I'm just gonna put glue go coming down this way oh gosh I hate when I run out of glue <clears throat> I use a small small glue sticks guys I don't I don't a lot of people use those big jumbo ones I use the, I like using small glue guns so make sure it's even before I put it down And uh, I might put some more glue here on these corners so I didn't put glue on there. I'm just going to slip it in there and glue it. Yeah. And that'll hold it in there in place. Alright, and I think the last thing I need to do is just put the antenna on the head and of course a little... Okay guys, just a little bit of movement around here. I didn't... I need to be centered so i think i just put a little bit of glue over here on this side right here glue it down okay i think i'm just waiting for it to dry up before i pick it up so i can do the antenna at the top of the head and put a little holder to hold it up <clears throat> for the antenna I just have this uh, Chanel stem that I just twisted to get uh, the black and yellow uh, make it look black and yellow so I'm just gonna use half of that so I'm gonna put little pom-poms on the ends little black pom-poms there we go and then just glue it back here let me turn this whole thing um, I'm gonna have to get a bigger table guys uh, in the near future I will be moving and I will be having a bigger craft area for me and you will I will get a bigger table a bigger everything <laughs> so I'm excited about that in the future I would say about the beginning of June maybe I should be in a new place ah oops
So I'm just gluing this back here. Oh, that's what they call about those burns. Oh, this hot glue is really burning me, guys. I think I got it in there. All right, all the hullabaloo, and it's all done. I revamped it, like I said, put it all together, and uh, the bow and everything, the head looks much better where it's at, and the wings are not as far apart. Uh, it took a little bit of, you know, hit and miss, but we finally did it, and I hope you can give it a try, and if you do, you already know how to make it, just watch my video, and you'll get it right. Thank you for being here, guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.